What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of FTB Infinity. We are here today. We're going to get some Tinkers tools made. We're going to try to get our smeltery set up and depending on how much time we run into we may get started on a little bit of uh, some of the Botania stuff. So let's get started. Uh, first things first, we need my wood. Here we go. All right. So first thing we need to do is make all these little part builder, or not all the, but a part builder. We need a stencil table. We're going to have to make a tool forge, and we need a tool station. So to make the stencils for the parts that we need, do that, and we got a blank pattern. So our tool station is a crafting station in one of those. So let's make us a crafting table. All right, there's number one. Our part builder is just any log and a blank pattern. There we go. Whoops. And our stencil table is a plank and a pattern. And that's all of those. Let's you can actually put these back in here and make them smaller and they don't take up quite as much space when you put them down. And we're also going to make the pattern chest to hold all of our patterns here. So let's make us a chest. Oh, it's a pattern. Oh, wait, nope, wrong. Ah, we're going. Boom, there we go. Um, as you can see, I've got a little bit of stuff done around here. We've done the walls, we've done the floor. Uh, this here is an XP tank. Uh, I don't have a enchantment table yet so I'm just collecting all my XP and then when I get uh, the enchantment table we can get whatever we want to out of here you gotta have an empty hand to do that Oop, see levels are going up stand on the drain and it goes out uh, we've done a little bit of work outside we've put in this garage door uh, we've built this nice little bridge here this is a uh, willow wood and this is uh, the carpenter blocks but with the uh, spruce stairs and then we've got us uh, some food going on out here I've moved it off a little bit and we got some sugar cane that I found I've been off just a little bit not too far um, we'll just go ahead and we'll set these up right here Now this is where you actually build the parts. This is where you choose what part you want to build. And this is where you put all the parts in to actually build the tools. Now this tool forge here actually builds the bigger tools which is what I want to do today because I like using the hammer. Now you can use um, you know, several different kinds of the ingots to do this. Um, we're going to use lead because right now that's what I've got the most of. That's what we need is four. And we're going to need some of these. Oh, these are orberry bushes. These are actually aluminum. They do these little nuggets here that you can smelt down into the nuggets. All right, back to what we were doing here. All right, let's put these. We're gonna need that. We got another book. Let's see what else we're gonna need here. We're going to need a tool station, which was this one, which is the crafting table and the pattern. So let's make another crafting table. And we need another pattern. 
there we go and wait why is there only one there we go that was a hiccup can I not do it with lead uh oh doesn't look like I can let's see if I've got enough of anything else with And, um, I don't know if you is there a silver one that's aluminum all right so after having taken a phone call and having a retarded moment I realized that I do have enough iron to go ahead and make this table so there we go that'll make us our big tools and we will be ready to go here pretty soon um, since I don't have a whole lot of stuff yet as you can see my supplies still are running fairly low uh, we're just going to be making basic tools and we'll make everything out of cobblestone for now. And as I get more stuff, we will uh, upgrade and make bigger ones. So the first thing I want to make is a hammer. So we're going to need, let's see here. For the hammer, we need a hammer head, a tool rod, and we're going to need two heads. So... Let's put our patterns in there. Oh, that's a part builder. Put our patterns in there. We need that. We need that. And we need that. Alright, so put this in here. Put our cobblestone in here and voila. There we go. And two of these, and we're good to go on that end. Now, our pattern chest here, we can place down, and any patterns that we have made, we can just put in there. Where's the other one at? It is still in here. All right. So let us make a hammer. And there we go. Now you can use different material and as you use different material it will give you different modifiers as far as adding um, fortune, adding haste to it. Um, what was it? I heard a skeleton out here. Uh, you can add a uh, smelter to it to where you, it'll automatically you know smelt your ores and stuff. It'll, you can add silk touch to it. Um, we're going to put a couple on here. We're going to put a diamond so we can mine at least diamond level because these hammers are only mine so far down. If you look, you'll see uh, mining level is iron. Um, so we want to put a diamond on it. We're going to put redstone on it for haste and... We'll put a little bit of lapis on it for some fortune. So then all you have to do is put that in there. We'll put the diamond in there. Now these are infinitely repairable. I can all it takes for this one is stone and we'll get into all that here in just a minute that's really loud let me fix uh, players environment let's try that um, nope, that didn't help much either so you can see down here, um, it'll tell you how many that you've got before you go to the next level. So we want to get it right at 50. Actually, I think we're going to leave it at 49. Make sure we have plenty of room for 
this. I tell you what, let's turn these. You can actually do them in block form too. So let's do that. All right, so that's got us our hammer. So next we want to build a axe. So we need the axe head and we need a tool binding. And we need this one back and let's clean out our inventory here. Oops. Where are we at? Alright, so we need one of those. One of those. One of these. Oops. And one of these. I won't put anything on this one. Um we're not going to be mining any great big trees right now, so basically just a plain old stone lumber axe will take care of everything that we need it for. Um, and then our last thing we're going to do is our spade, which is, we need the shovel head and, alright, so we need that. That's all I need. One of those. One of these. What else did I need there? We need some more cobblestone. One of those. And one of these. Now if you look, it'll tell you how many of each material that you need. Uh, now when we get into some of the bigger tools, or the stronger tools, uh, we can actually just make them in the smeltery. And that'll be for another episode. We probably won't get that far today. And there we go. So now we've got some tools. We can put our diamond ones up. We put a lot of this stuff up here. Uh, I did make me a magnet. This is just one of the smaller magnets. It'll pick up everything within just about a 10 block radius of us. Oops, we're going to need those. Go sleep. Then I'll show you some of these tools in, in work. Oh, there's our skeleton out there. So I got this sword out of a zombie spawner. I found one and a creeper blew me up. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, the creeper blew me up and it blew up the spawner, so... We still don't have a spawner. Alright, let's go hit a tree. There's another skeleton. And there's another one. I just don't want to deal with him right now. So we can hit this, and it will take the whole tree down for us. And it makes cutting trees so much easier. Oh, there's a creeper. It blew up. We'll fix that later. There we go. That's from trees that I cut down earlier, so we'll pick get that out of the way later. We'll show you the hammer. Well, I guess I could show you the spade while we're out here right quick. So it cuts out a three by three spot.
and we'll look at the hammer. We've got our mine shaft started. As you can see, I really haven't done a whole lot of mining here. These tools do a three by three spot. It makes mining so much easier. And the nice thing about these tools too is if you have torches right next to them, you can just right click and it'll place the torch for you. So that makes things run a lot easier. All right, so let's work on getting our smeltery set up. We'll eventually get our smeltery automated. Uh, I think I have the stuff to do it today, but I don't, I'm not going to get into it that far. Uh, I just want to get it set up. Let's get rid of this stuff. I need the whoops. Need those. All right, so. We need these, we need these seared bricks, and we're going to need the glass. Alright, for the smeltery, got them up here already, you need to make those little black seared bricks. And in order to make those, you make grout. And the grout is clay, sand, and gravel, which I've already made some up. I've already smelted it down and got it ready for us to go. That way, we didn't have to sit and wait on it. Um, so first things first for the smeltery to work we need to have a tank the tank holds uh, all the uh, fluid that we put in it we need a controller and we're going to need a faucet Oops. And we will need a table. And for the rest of it, we're just going to need just a bunch of these bricks. Is that all I got? Did I get all of them out of here? I did. All right. So this is kind of a... Uh, a little bit of a multi-block structure. We want, let's put it, we'll tear this out right here. Should have enough to do two rows here. We will put. What am I miss? Oh, I know what I miss. I'm missing one more thing. I am missing the. Where's it at? the drain and I don't have enough bricks left for that gravel there's some sand and there's some clay well you get to see how to make the gravel While we finish putting this together here, we'll let that cook up. I think we'll put the drain over here. So our table will go right there. Uh, we'll put our tank here. Alright. So next we need our controller that didn't work at all we'll 
put our controller right there put a block there and all right got these all made up and there we go should be oh yeah we've got it all made up here uh, so now we can just put our ores in here it'll melt them down we just got to put lava in it um, which we'll take care of that later I don't have any ores to uh, smelt up right now um, but we can set it up where we've got lava that just runs in here we can put a chest onto this with a hopper and where it just has the ores come through here it'll mix and match them as it sees fit and then you can just keep adding this on up and up and up and the more you add to it the more it'll hold uh, but this is the casting table here you can just right click on this it'll pour out um, I don't have any lava so I can't do that right now um, so we'll have this set up and ready to go uh, on the next episode because uh, I want to get, like I said, I'm going to get all this going. I'm going to get uh, get some more mining done with the new tools. Uh, what else are we going to do? Uh, let's, I don't know. I got, do I have a book that I can use? Let's make us a book right quick. Oh, I don't know if you all heard that, but damn, that's some loud thunder. And that wasn't on here. Uh, let's make us a book. And let's find a sapling. believe this is how you make it oh yeah this here is our Britannia book it'll help you along with about anything that you need to know about uh, for Britannia gives you you know the basics of it um, of course there's some extra stuff in it that we may get to but I want to get these made these pure daisies uh, because we want to start collecting living wood and living stone uh, so we can start collecting mana uh, I want to get a drum of the wild I believe it's called made so we can start collecting seeds and everything um, so the first thing we need to do to get started is build us a petal apothecary which is this thing right here and we need a pedal. Alright. I think we can handle that. And let's get us some more cobblestone. Alright. And we need a mana pedal. I do this right. And there we go. So we will put this down right here for now. So this pedal apothecary is what we use to make um the beginnings of most of what we want to do as far as making seeds making some of these flowers I guess we could have looked that way um, so we want to make the pure daisies which is four of these white ones and a seed which I went out and collected a bunch of white flowers somewhere there we go 
Let's sleep off the night. I'm gonna have to go out and get some water. Let's make us a water hole here. that over there. Alrighty. Oops. Oh, I don't think that. That didn't work. There we go. Let's shut our door behind us. Alright, now. I should have... There's a seed, there's a seed, there's a seed. And we'll just make three of them for now, just to show you all how to make these right quick I want hope oh. can't throw nothing down when you got your magnet turned on all right two three four there we go and put that in there There's two of them. And our other seed is right there. Alright, so we've got these. We're just going to set them up right here for now. I need the stone that I had just a minute ago, and I need some logs. Where did I put the stone? I really need to get some organization around here. It's it's not good. All right, so basically, you just place these around the flowers. that and we're gonna lose a piece you can only put them in a space one by one around them and I don't want to blow all this stuff up dang creeper this little area right here is just dangerous We'll give this just a minute. Keeping an eye out for stuff. There it goes. So there's our living wood. And then... There is our living stone. Alright. So this will get us started uh, collecting mana. Uh, we'll get into that next episode. I'll have the smeltery completely up and running. The next, well, it's up and running now. But I will have... It actually, with stuff in it, uh, we're going to work on getting some more ores together. Close this so nobody comes there. This is a carpenter's garage door is what this is. Uh, I've got spruce wood up across the top, and then I chiseled the glass. And I'm wanting to say it's the borderless, or it's supposed to be the borderless glass, but it has borders on it. Uh, but it definitely gives us a lot better view of the outside than the little two wide hole that we had. So I guess until the, let me get rid of my XP here, I guess until the next episode, uh, we'll get that stuff done. We'll get our first bit of mana generating started up. We may do a little bit of exploring. I've gone out just a little bit. It's not very far. Um, 
I believe we have a spawner over that way that I want to go get and get a spawner set up so we can get some XP. Uh, I'm going to try to get an enchantment room set up and we're going to do some more terraforming outside. So until then, uh, like, comment, subscribe and have a great day. Goodbye.